why is a pump important um, and why are pump ingredients important in a pre-workout? There's a number of, uh, of reasons. And so with nitrates, why should a nitrate source be included in a pre-workout? I think it's critical to have nitrate sources for a pump because nitrates act the fastest. So there's two main ways that you can produce nitric oxide in the body. One is the arginine pathway. It, arginine is converted into nitric oxide. So I don't use arginine, though, in, in my pre I use citrulline, which gets converted into arginine. There's research showing that citrulline gets absorbed better than actual arginine. And when you give equal doses of citrulline and arginine, you get more nitric oxide from the citrulline than you do the arginine. So now that's one way, right? Which I have in my, my pre-workouts. I always include citrulline and citrulline malate, particularly because it also provides more energy. But I like the nitrates in addition because the nitrates are a faster pathway than that arginine citrulline pathway. The, the nitrates get converted, it starts literally right in your mouth. As soon as you you consume nitrate, it gets converted into nitrite, it gets reduced from nitrite. So nitrate is NO3, nitrite is NO2, and then nitric oxide is NO. So you're losing an oxygen each time, but it starts in the mouth, right? So immediately, as you're sipping your pre-workout, those nitrates are literally being activated into nitric oxide. It's literally starting in your mouth. So it's a much quicker path way than waiting for the citrulline or arginine to be absorbed, right? Into the intestines, goes to the stomach, absorbed, okay? A bit slower. So that's why I like the nitrates because it's a direct conversion right into nitric uh, oxide. Now, why is a, a pump important? You know, obviously you look better, right, in the gym, but that's really not why a pump is so important. The pump is important because what a pump does, okay, now a lot of people don't understand this. A lot of people think a pump is just your, the, the blood vessels that go to that muscle are engorged, right? And sure, you, you're, if you're lean, right, if you're lean uh, like I am, you can see the veins, right, when you have a pump. But those aren't the blood vessels that were, the veins are bringing blood back to the heart, not to the muscle, right? So what a pump is has nothing to do with the veins. They, there is just a reaction because of the, the greater uh, fluid in your, in, your, in your blood vessels, including the veins. But we want the blood flow in the arteries, okay, going to the muscles. And so what the pump does is it gets more water to the muscle. Water leaves the blood vessels and enters the muscle cells and literally swells up the muscle. That's what the pump is. Now what that does is it puts a stretch on the muscle membrane and that stretch is believed to instigate muscle protein synthesis which can lead to muscle growth. Now the other thing with the nitrates and the citrulline in increasing that blood flow. So basically what nitric oxide does, if you don't know this already, is it widens the blood vessels, right? It dilates them, it relaxes them. So think of it as a hose, right? So the wider those blood vessels, the more fluid can pass through, right? So now you have more blood traveling to the muscles. Well, what's in the blood besides red blood cells and white blood cells? Nutrients, right? There's nutrients, there's more glucose going, right? Uh, oxygen, there's more oxygen now getting to the muscle. And so it's helping your performance. And if you look at the research on nitrates, whether you're using a pure nitrate form, like uh, the NO3T that I use, or you're using like a, a, a extract of beet, right? Or beet juice, right? Still nitrates. It shows that it increases performance, exercise performance. You have more endurance. And uh, it means you can train stronger for longer.